Hey guys, it's Lily, and today we're going to be talking about something that I kind of take really serious, and I can get a little sassy about it, so sorry about the sass that may be in this video. I'm going to try and keep it down, keep the sass really, really down, because I don't really like being a sassy person, but yeah. So we're going to be talking about fandoms, if you don't know what a fandom is, um, in basic terms, it's a group of people who like the same thing, whether it be a YouTuber, a celebrity, a show, that kind of thing. Like, what? There, I'm sure there is a fandom for lines. There's a fandom for literally everything. So, yeah, um, I kind of set myself some rules when I became part of a couple of fandoms that I follow myself, and I kind of wanted to share them with you because I've noticed a lot of, like, lines that I feel shouldn't be crossed are being crossed at the moment. So yeah, here is my favorite rules that I follow and I think a lot of other people should follow similar rules for themselves and just kind of make being part of a fandom the best experience I can. So my number one rule is I think before you say something. Um, my second rule is put yourself in the person's shoes. That you're talking about. Three is don't say a ship is canon without confirmation because that bugs me. <laughs> Literally is one of the most annoying things because it is not your place to say. You have no idea and you have no right. And if anyone really does that to a degree where they're not like just being funny um, and are quite serious about what they're saying and insisting that a ship is real, I will unfollow them, especially on Tumblr. And I did that last night, I unfollowed someone for that reason. Um, so yeah, my number four is don't mock or disrespect another fandom just because you don't necessarily like what that fandom is about or something that one of those members may have said. Be respectful and deal with it in a mature and polite way. Um, and my number five is don't overanalyze things. I'm going to go into a little bit about this one because this is just a general thing. Um, yeah, don't overanalyze things. Like Phil and Dan, they did a little um, would you rather challenge at VidCon and at the end of it they kind of shared a little hug and everybody went nuts and I'm like yeah it's cute it was just a hug though like it people were acting like they kissed and told us that they were together and have been for years like people reacted like that I'm like sure I know that fandom is kind of really really tense like Dan and Phil's fandom is kind of really tense because of some things that happened which I'm not going to talk about because the sensitive topic. <laughs> um, kind of like, yeah, it's just, it's a big thing that they feel comfortable enough to do that, but people were acting like they come out and said that they were together, which they didn't. <laughs> so that was kind of like, don't overanalyze things and kind of, if you do have a little bit of fangirl moment, share it with another fangirl. Don't post it literally everywhere for them to see, for them to feel pressured, for two people to feel pressured or to feel like they have to give us something that isn't there or play something up that isn't there. Um, as much as I love Tyler and Troy, they are two of my favorite YouTubers, I think for a while they really, really played up trailer and, you know, I think it was to make us happy, but it made things quite like difficult for them because people did quite seriously start really really shipping them and you know and I am part of that fandom and it just got really crazy for a while so yeah and being a youtuber I can kind of you know you guys have to kind of remember that we are normal people and all we do is sit in our bedrooms with some light a camera, a tripod, and an idea in our head to show you guys. So yeah, kind of always remember up mostly to be respectful. That is my biggest thing. Be respectful um, of your fellow fangirls, your fellow fandom members, the people you're shipping, and of yourself. Um, don't say anything that you'll regret or that 
you know, just kind of, if you have a very, very controversial opinion, kind of keep it to peep, like, your closest fandom members and stuff like that who might share the same thing, idea as you, but don't put it on blast for them to see for like Dan and Phil or Tyler and Troy or you know any other YouTuber to see. Really? Okay. <laughs> Obviously the car wanted to say something. <laughs> I'm so weird. Anyway. Um so yeah, um kind of just yeah. So yeah, if you guys agreed with some of the things I said here, don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to click that subscribe button. This video here, it was a cute idea I had and I'm going to VidCon 2015 so I thought it was really cool and you guys are going to come on to the journey making it. So check that out if you want to be involved because there's a way for you to be. Um, so yeah, I, I will see you guys really soon. I'm getting a new camera. So videos are going to be so much better quality and I think I'm even going to try and figure out like a little filming area so I can like have a certain area to like film. I know I normally film here, but it's quite takes quite a, quite a lot to set it up and uh, set up and everything like that. Even though I'm just filming on my bed, but my lights take like everything takes a little while to set up and stuff like that. So yeah, I kind of want to make it a little bit easier to make content for you guys and keep everything nice and fresh and consider I'm getting a new camera, there's going to be some really cool projects coming your way. So yeah, like I said, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye!